Okay, in this tutorial I'm doing another performance test of the rigid body dynamics and I'm comparing it to the particle fluids to see really what the difference is. I like the rigid body dynamics a lot because of the way they collide with each other but that gets way too CPU intensive when you get a whole lot of particles. There's only like a hundred particles in this simulation right here and the fluid particles can do uh, s similar effects, not quite as precise, but they approximate it pretty doggone well. And the other thing is about the fluids is that you can have, you can do color changes as you go and all kinds of other neat things. But anyway, let's take a look at this and see what I have. Basically, this is uh, one of the ways that I uh, simulate a dust devil. And it's really just, you know, or land spout. Basically, it's, you know, hot air on a hot summer day creating a lot of lift and then we have particles or dust converging towards the central location and creating this weak vortex and they are weak you know they're like you know, yeah they're weak there's certainly not like a tornado by any means but but it's an interesting effect you kind of have to balance the uh, inflow with the outflow kind of like the headers on your car you know if your exhaust isn't enough then it just bogs down and the same thing with this it's all a lot of it depends on how fast I'm evacuating uh, the air out of the column but it gives you a nice effect and I turn these particles here so let's see if we can actually turn this into let's slow it down a little bit and I'll rerun the simulation and see if see what kind of differences like essentially less heat in the simulation and I'll start it over so now I have less heat I'm gonna have to run it for a longer period of time let's see what the difference is so you can see it's a little bit weaker convergence isn't quite as strong and in some cases let me see if I crank it way up sometimes if I what I found is if I crank it way up essentially giving it too much heat then what happens is uh, the inflow rate is too fast and then the convergence of the objects well that's still not too bad so sometimes what will happen is the convergence of the objects be so great that they'll start too many of them will start deflecting away and it won't even generate the vortex won't really start to appear so then sometimes what I'll try and do is if I get somewhere halfway decent then I'll just try and balance the beginning and the ending of it so it kind of looks like a continuous flow even though it's not that's the problem with the rigid body dynamics is you just, it requires just too many particles. And on the particle system, you can actually control the lifetime a lot easier. So I'm just shortening the length so it almost looks like a single running thing. So, so it's you know, it definitely looks like a weak vortex. And it's certainly not the vortex that's built into the physics within Blender. That's kind of a, that's good for just circulating things around. But this is a little different, more interesting for me. And I have these colors so you can follow these particles if you want. Okay, that's it for now. I'm just goofing around and I'll see you in the next video.